G'day folks, welcome to Big V TV. Great to have you with us, VYC men and women. Yeah. Halfway through the season. Yeah. Hey, listen, um, at Ballarat, yeah. uh, last week we said that this yes. week would officially be Rat Week. Yep. We're putting it on as one week. Yeah. Only because they're getting together some stuff for us yeah. and posting it down. Yep. So next week is officially the week of the rat. Fantastic. Okay. I'm looking forward to it actually. So right. And you know what? I'll tell you what we're going to do. Love that one. We're, we're going to give the, the city of. Because it's, it's not a town, it's a bloody no. city. It's a big joint. Jake's site's like a beautiful part of the world. It's a great yeah, part, of the world. part of the world. I'm going to do a little bit of research during the week on the rat. Yep. Some of the. Um, Fun facts? Well, yeah, you know, some of the tourist destinations. You could go down to Sovereign Hill. Absolutely. Gold That's pen. what I'm talking about. So next week is officially Rat Week on the show. All right. They're just sending them some stuff down. Plenty of Gold Rush stuff. Oh, right. absolutely. Can you wear your miner's helmet? Yeah. I, I, I went to Sovereign Hill once and got a bit greedy. I found like lots of little bits of gold. Yeah, it's to... probably officially worth a dollar ten or something. Yeah. I'm going to bring that jar in next week just to nice flush strawberry it off. drops or something that you get from Sovereign Hill. It's strawberry drops. You know, oh, they're like hard boiled lollies. Yeah. Like so, uh, like... so while I'm down at oh. the river oh. working my ass off, yeah. panning for gold, trying to support my family. You're up in the bloody lolly shop with oh, your strawberry yeah. drops, eh? Oh, they are just... It's just, sensation. you know what? Well, well, Ballarat's next week. Oh, sorry. Next, <laughs> next oh, sorry, week. Right. Next, <laughs> week next week's rap week. A Vicky okay. Championship of Women Huge Weekend. Skip all of away. action. Uh, Geelong, 70. Knocked off Nana Wadding, 64. Big win. Super Unreal. Since I got off the Super oh, yeah. They've been up and about. Good. Up and about. Georgia Valley was up and about. Oh, but uh, Spectre shot 11 to 26 in the foul line. What? It's not... Yeah. I can't. Who's coaching out there? Um, Brookings. Oh, and he's a very good coach. And you yeah. know what a ripper guy. Hey, yeah. he's a great guy. Hey, hey, mate, get stuck in the girls. Yeah. This week. No, well, do you mention it? Do you just don't talk about it? Oh, no, it. you know, no, it's mental. Mental. no, no, you, no. You George Bailey, maybe they need to work on shutting down a particular player. 30 points, 8 boards, 6 dimes, 3 triples, a blue carpet, George Bailey. Hey, can I just Three. say. Yeah, she is. Can I just say hello to the Varley family? All of them. They're a ripping family down yeah. there in Geelong. She's got a couple yeah. of brothers. Yep. I've met the dad Emerson, before. I Lewis. think I've met the mum before. Can't remember. Anyway, Valley. ripping family, yep. the Varley. Her, name, her name's Valerie Varley. <laughs> no, that's no, crazy. Not. You're making that up. Her name's Valerie. Yeah. Valerie Varley. <laughs> oh, what no, a great not. name. Oh, You're making that up? Yeah. <sighs> Allison Marsh, 13 and 12. Uh, Meg with us, 15 and 16, not a wadding. We'll talk about them in a minute. Check out what the Valley's a good mention. This yeah, right. <laughs> Valley, Valley, Valley. Melbourne, 30. Hey! Melbourne. About time. 73 knocked off Kilsyth, 57. Good First one. Make sure you put the comma in after fantastic to see. Good skill. Kilsyth struggling, and though uh, taking nothing away from Melbourne's first win of the year. But without uh, Jennifer uh, Jenkins or yeah, JJ, yeah. Um, they've been struggling. struggling. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they have. Um, Nihara Ravikuma has been She's very been good really this year. She's been very steady. Hey, so points. is this kid. Yep, Phoebe Gaze, captain, 13 points, 8 boards, 3 blocks, phenomenal. Brianna McKenzie, 20 points. She's been pretty reliable. Ebony Vanderheim, 12 points and 11 It's just points. the way that Phoebe Gaze has been playing. You'd reckon there's a bit of basketball in that family. Oh, You'd reckon it's oh, a key sport. I don't know about that. Hey, well done, Tigers. Because yeah, great job. It's first win of the season. Game. It has yeah. been a tough season, so well done. We like yep. that. Let's head out to the land of the Broncos. Mm, really? Do you have to? Oh, why is that? Hume oh. City, 35, lost to Bendigo, oh. 81. And what was the start of a huge weekend for Bendigo? Mm. 25 points, 20 rebounds. Oh, so it's, it's, it's big weekend for Bendigo. Yeah. So the first quarter, yeah. uh, Bendigo came out, had 25 points and 20 rebounds. Yeah. Hume City had six, six points, points and five, five rebounds. rebounds. Like it was a smashing thing. They the won start. the rebound count 58 to 25. Yeah. Uh, Caitlin McLaughlin, 14 and 17. Yeah, go. Molly yeah. Greeth in 13 and 7. Paige Dwarf, 11 points. Well done, Bendigo, but I think the sooner we move on, the yeah. better. Well, let's move on to the Sunday yeah. game. And this is why next week's going to be Rat Week, because not a lot to talk about this no. week. It was billed as a cracking game, it as was. it should be. Yeah, it was. 48 uh, Ballarat went down to was Bendigo. Bug <laughs> Bendigo, 62. No love loss. Bug showdown. What do you mean? No, big showdown. Big show, book <laughs> showdown. Oh, no, no, it's, 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 big showdown. Bendigo got the win. And listen, uh, apparently, and there is no, <laughs> there is, no, <laughs> there is no love loss between these two teams. If you haven't caught up by now, I'm officially working with clowns. You know that, don't you? Um, it was, 
Hey, you guys are alright. Yeah. You hey, like the notes, mate, and you've put. Yeah, bug. but it's got bug instead of big, and you two have acted oh, as if it's dear. the biggest thing since sliced bread. It is. And bread's been getting sliced for a fair while, let me know. You know. Thank you. Now listen to me. Uh, Can you whip up some no, cheese and bacon just, rolls while I read this out? Makes a couple of Caleb McLaughlin had another double double, 16 points, 14 boards. Molly Greetham, 11 and 8. They almost mirrored, mirrored their night before. Yep. Lydia Brooks, 14 and 10, good as usual before. Hey, no love lost between Ballarat and Bessie Go. Nope. The after match. Yeah. Ballarat just pushed it all into a plastic bag and said, get the hell out of here. Just go home. <laughs> go home. <laughs> you got the points. Should, yeah. Get out of here. Get out. They need a special tag to get into town, I've heard. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, okay. At the boom gates and that, to get a little dream gates. Next game, the, the Raiders, 85 defeated, Hume City 42. We Four quarters. Of, big, yeah, Four we quarters. picked Hume this City. type of march. The quarterback quarter was Knox 22 Sorry, to 11, man. Knox 24 to 9, Knox 23 to 15, and Knox yeah. 16 Freedom. to 7. Knox too strong, forcing the Broncos into 31 turnovers. The guard pressure from Knox would have just been relentless. How about the order? Rebecca Ott, 25 points, sensational. Sam Castle was 14 points, 8 boards, 6 assists, and 4 She steals. did that in about 18 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Incredible. Can I and just Mula say... Lulufi, 13 and 11. It was a 43-point win for Knox, and Lulufi still played. Broncos are not up to it. Like, imagine if Broncos just, didn't have Lulufi. And that's what we said in the champ show. That's why they wow. had to keep... Them. That's why she's playing, so yeah. they lose by 100 instead of just 40. Hey, um, John, we're very good Saturday to, night. <laughs> Yeah. And they were very good Sunday. But I don't reckon they would have been disappointed. I don't reckon people are paying enough attention to Waverley at the moment. But sorry, go on. All right. Waverley have really improved. Yeah, Waverley yeah. got up by nine, uh, 11 points. Uh, Abby Lloyd had 15 and 7. Claire Ioannidis is 12. Tiana Rolfe had 18 for Geelong. Uh, game high. Oh, well, maybe Valerie Varley took her daughter out for a thick shake after Saturday's game because <laughs> yeah. they were so good. And um, unfortunately, they might have stayed out a bit too long. Ring, <laughs> Ringwood 66 defeated Eltham 53. 23 to 10 start by the Hawks. Set up a win. Wildcats only went 13 from 29 from the foul. I think that was about 49 Not great. Was it really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and as Lee backed up a good champ game the night before, yeah. a great champ game the night before with 17 points. Beck Nola sensational with 16 points. Charlotte Brancadizano 13 and 7 with 4 assists for the Wildcats. Hawks needed this one. Now this is a little bit unfair, mm -hmm. but I'm going to put it on the table because uh, okay. our, our job yeah. is to ask questions. Yeah, yeah. We're the, in, we're the independent the trio. Yes. There was a big change between two clubs in the offseason. In his oh, league went from Nana Wadding to Ringwood. Yeah. Ash Stainer went from Ringwood to Nana Wadding. Which, no which of those two teams has had the better of that what do you think? unofficial Look, I, trade? I think from early on, I think Stainer may have been carrying She was. She, she didn't play. play. She, she started playing. Yeah, yeah, that's um, fair enough. Yeah. So, you know, I think she's probably still finding her feet. But Inez Lee's been sensational. I reckon Ringwood's I've, been very happy no, to get Inez. Yeah, yeah, I remember watching Inez as a junior, you know, back a long time ago at Nana Wadding, six, eight years ago. And she was just brilliant then, and she's brilliant yeah. now. And Ringwood have picked up a really good long term yep. player for this. Oh, then steal her. Stop. Uh, and as Lee said on uh, Big V Live, because we interviewed her after the Champ Women's game. Yeah. She played very well in Champ Women's game, by the way. We interviewed her after the game. Yep. Cr cracking young lady. Yeah. Smiling. Yeah, she was very happy. Having a ball, wasn't she? Was great been, to see. She, yeah. uh, she is really, really enjoying her time uh, since the change. Uh, uh, it's nothing against her. No, no, no. no, no. She, she just said she's she made her welcome. Really, she's really well. She says it's been why she's always been there. Yeah, yeah good. Uh, Kilsyth against Frankston. Now, Kilsyth got the win. I'll let you read this out, Kel, because mm. one of my favourites oh. did an unbelievable yeah. job. Oh, wrong. Quarter by quarter, 16 to 17, 20 to 9, 12 to 8, 6 to 3. This game just got worse and worse. Yeah. <laughs> no, the defense got like, better and better. No, it got worse. Oh, no, it got worse. Uh, <laughs> ugly second half, Kilsyth shot 19%, so did Frankston. That's, uh... We should mention Kilsyth won 51 to Frankston 40. Yeah. Franks, just remember. I just want you to remember the number forty. Off you go. Paige Anderson, nineteen and twelve for the Cobras. Uh, Brianna McKenzie, twelve points, eleven boards, and four assists. Oh, so yeah. they had forty. Steph Reed. Oh, it's one of my favourites. Twenty-nine points of their forty. <laughs> at fifty-three percent. At fifty-three percent. Five boards, seven steals, Great three assists. Game. I don't think I remember seeing the wow. play have so it's, much of their team's points. It's literally seventy-five yeah. percent of their score. 
Next game, wow, Nutter Wadding's weekend got no better going down to Diamond Valley, 57 to 81 at Ooh, home. Big loss. Diamond Valley, a 22 to 12 start and a 25 Ooh. to 15 finish, guys. Ooh. What does that mean? Oh, it's got the book Yeah, Spectre's 25 turnovers and they only went one of 18 from the arc, couldn't get their shot going. Tess needed, Norman. They, they needed a Niz Lee. That's what they needed. Mm, yeah, fair Sorry point. about that, but they... Tess Norman, 29 points, 7 Great boards, game. 7 Great game. steals, Look, 2 the trays, well done. Meg Krupe, 12 and 8. The, 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 the Krupster, she's yeah. a very good young player. She is a very good Keep an eye on her. Yeah. Definitely. Brooke Zidwick, 20, sorry, 10 points. No so bad, other so Spectre in that double digits. A good win, Wadding. Good win, Diamond Valley. Some good young kids. None of Wadding are very lucky that they're not in the deeper conference. Yes, yeah, they've been trouble right now. at the moment, yeah. they're, they're five and nine, count. and they've been really flat, they're, and yet they only sit two losses. No, good call. Time. You actually sound like you know a little bit I about bob women's every, basketball. I resent that. Why is that? Because I love it. I, I tell you, I'm following this very closely. All year. I tell you, who you should be following pretty closely. Flying like, that's Foxy's girl. Yeah, they are flying. Uh, flying Fox. <gasps> yep. Okay. Hey, 63 hey. to Melbourne's 47. Dad joke. Uh, <laughs> tigers go from crack 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 crack. So the Tigers go from chocolates on Saturday night to boiled lollies. Oh, and on they did. Uh, he wrote that. But no, hey, no, 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 Kel put that in. He said oh, yeah, Kel did not. Um, oh, comic relief from. Uh, that would be disappointing for Dogs because they were very good the night before. Oh, look, tough kid pulling. Yeah, and I played the night before. I don't think it went according to plan. Amelia Smith, great game. 21 11. Bridget Memo, 15 10. Carla Theodore. 11-11, three double-doubles. Uh, Emily Suckling had 15 for the Tigers. Well done, Foxy's girls. All about this one, about it, mate. It was all about this one, and I think two of the three of us, <laughs> or was it one? I went Danny on. Did so you go Danny on? No, you went Danny I went Danny Yeah, you went Sandringham. Did I? Nah, yeah, no, I think nah. I might have. I think I did go for Sandringham. Yeah, you did, yeah. so you can read this out. Sure, it was a grand final rematch of the Rangers. Just, don't read it just give us the score. Don't read it out like you're reading so, it out. Danny Nong 71. Avenging their loss in the grand smashed. final. Sandringham, 48. Smashed. Rangers set it up with a 39 to 21 first half. They yeah. won the rebound count, 58 to 36. Okay. Big, big, uh, big news coming out of this one. Well, I'll give you some big news. Yeah, big one. Big I'll news. give you some big news. Danny Nong won this game by 23 points. Yeah. Grand final rematch. 23 points. Make you feel a bit better. Doesn't completely avenge oh, it, uh, but no, make you feel hey, a bit better. You know what? what? But when you lose a grand final, the rematch means Jack, mate. You yeah. still lost the grand final. Doesn't make Sabres feel better still at all. the chance, still even good. now. Um, Geraldine McCorkle played 37, more than 37 minutes, and guess what she delivered? 18 points, 19 rebounds, <laughs> seven assists, four blocks. That's she what dominated she dominated the game. She Apparently, game. she played some time in the last quarter too. Really? Yeah. So a very, very good Geraldine yeah. McCorkle. Sarah Slater, 15 and 12. Sophie Tarabolsi, 16 points. Kate Hall had 11 points for Sandringham. Only Saber in double figures. Look out. Yeah, I was going to say, on. the reason that's such a big win is Sandringham and Nine Marks, they're a really good oh, squad. Yeah. Oh, they so, are. You know, that's a really hey, good Danny win. Danny Nong's nine in a row. Yeah, yeah, they're very good at the moment. I'm fine. Yeah. Uh, let's go to the... We, well, we do need to explain to people. Yeah, we had a bit of a meeting. Well, quite a big meeting. Well, we a huge conference. We, we bet, I didn't bring a good enough lawyer, did I? Yeah. No, we went to VCAT and, and Dennis Napthine popped his head in just to confer with us as well. Dr. Is he, Dennis Is he the Premier at the moment? Yes, he, he is. He's a politician, isn't he? Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, we had a chat with them because we had some complaints. Yep. We've carried some the well, concerns. well, we've carried the load on this show for five years. Yeah. We've carried some very, very ordinary performers on this show for yep. five years. Yep. Made them look very, very good. We've made them look extremely good. And we said, look, as a compromise, yep. just so we can lessen the load a bit, yep. we refuse to do the ladders from now on. Yeah. They We're rubber, doing it. They rubber stamped it, and they said, you're damn well right. It's so a contract. So off you go. It's legal. Off you go now. The Terrell Ladder knocks nine and two, nice Sandringham right. nine and three, Bulleen eight and four have won four in a row, Diamond Valley five and seven, that's the end of the top four. Uh, eight. Foxy's oh, girls have won their last four. Fly, I reckon I said They that. are up and about, Foxy's Nutter girls. Nutter Wadding, five and nine, having lost three in a row. Frankston, four and eight. They've now lost five Stinkin in a row. Stinkin's free fall. Geelong, three and ten. Hume City, one and twelve. They've lost their last nine. Yeah, struggling. The Watson Ladder. Oh, Dandy Nong, twelve and two, having won their last nine. Oh, with a Bendigo, nine and three, yep. having won their last four. Good. Ballarat, ten and four. Ringwood, eight and four. Waverley starting to make some noises, six and six. Kilsyth, six and eight, dropping away a bit. Eltham, five and eight. Melbourne, one and eight. I still reckon the top four Watson is safe. Uh, yeah. Waverley going to be unlucky at the end of the season, I think, because they've really improved. Yeah, they have. They've Saturday. improved. But, you know. Saturday games, here we go. Bendigo at home to Kilsyth. Bendigo. Bendigo. Give me Bendigo all over. Eltham host Waverley. 
Falcons for yeah, me. Yeah, Falcons, yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, Melbourne, Ringwood. Ringwood? Ringwood for me, but yeah. well done, Tigers getting and the first I saw these two times. Teams play last time, it was competitive, but I think, I think uh, Ringwood won by that. seven. But Sunday, Sunday games, game of the round. Benigo versus Pauline. Yeah, Benigo it is. And uh, Foxy, I reckon you might just go down in this one. I think Bendigo. Though it is Bendigo's second game, but I think they'll I think be win. Two home games, that'd be right. Yeah. They just get to go home. Yeah. Down the road, walk home. Ballarat have a test. Danny on Ballarat. Danny, uh, oh, based on what we saw last week, you'd there's say, no stopping the Rangers. You'd train. say Danny. Oh, is this? I might go down and visit the Rat on Sunday. Is this a Sunday game? Mm. Because watch. next week is officially Rat week. week on the show. We're looking forward it to it. Right. We'll have the gear. Yeah. Uh, why well, wouldn't I go down? I might go down. Yeah, should go for it on Sunday. What time's that game? Do you know, I'll have to have a, look. have a look for me. I might go down. Catch up. Catch up. No wedding, Knox. Lydia, Lydia Brooks. Uh, I think Knox will win that game. Knox, yeah. Diamond Valley, Geelong. Diamond Valley for yeah. me. Uh, will Valerie Valley beat? I might go watch that game. Will Valerie Valley beat that game? You can't go to Mall, mate. I'd like to. He wants to catch up. I'd like to. I'd like to catch up. Frankston, Hume City. Oh, surely. Frankston. Frankston have been stinking it up. Surely someone's going to help step three. I think Frankston's team is pretty good, and I think they'll get a comfortable win. Yeah. Yep. Reedy might score 45 on her own this week against Hume City. Yeah. Might score she more might. than Hume City combined. She uh, VYC men, Bulleen 81, knock off Sandy in a oh, thriller 70. Thriller. Nine. Boomers get the win with a 27 to 30. Well, we said there's a storm time. Sandringham had it. Yeah, well, we said Bulleen would ball win. A few times. Mm. We said Bulleen would win because they've gone loss, win, loss, win, loss. Yeah, that would you. for a win. Yeah. Uh, Richard Orion had 19 and 7. Late bucket for me too that got it. Got it, yep. Uh, Luke Hughes, 17 points, 8 assists, 5 steals, 3 trays. Very good yeah, game. Great effort. Yeah, yeah good Hughes. player. Let's go down to Geelong. 75, Geelong went down to Nutter Wadding, 84. Uh, Stefano Inescu, 17 points. Jordan Noble, 15 7. Jordan Noble's been very good. Yeah, he has. Yeah. Last yep. month's been yeah. exceptional. Uh, Jackson Bentley, 25 and 8 for the Supercats, one hand. Let's go out to Melbourne. Uh, next week's officially rap week. Yes. Next so week we're have to is the boys rap week. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Who to rap play? Ooh. Melbourne, 111. 111, yeah. that's huge. Defeated Ballarat, 66. The Tigers led 50 to 41 at the half. So the rap were okay. Were a half, mm. but then they went in. Oh, the third quarter was thirty-six to oh, eight in favour of Melbourne. The Tigers. Good news here for the rap, by the way. Mm. I think they brought. Oh no, there is some good news. No, I think they brought eight to Melbourne. Oh, yeah. yeah, Tigers had <laughs> out of the fifteen thousand extras, they found one. It's good. Tigers had seven players That's in double figures. Nobody wants Jack Bynes, eighteen points and five assists. Andrew Paniato, sixteen and eight. Josh Tang, sixteen Tanger. and six. Tang. Tanger. Alex Amidis, nineteen and ten. And 12 turnovers. Tripped Ooh. up. Ooh, tripped up for Alex. <laughs> yeah. Tripped up, Al. Not the one you want. We'll just talk about the points. Yeah. The points. Let's go out to yeah, Waverley because there's a big one. game, Waverley Sherbrooke, and there was a favourite son returning Ooh. to the court. Oh, it's Waverley 102, knocked off uh, Sherbrooke 84. Sherbrooke were quite good. Um, led by nine what? at the yeah. end of the first Falcons quarter. Really good. Then the Falcons went 59 to 32. Yeah. They had a big third quarter. Yeah. Quarters, uh, right. Big third quarter. Yeah. Quiney Quiney came back. back. Um, he's been in Hawaii what college. An, what and what a what return! Addition. He's a gun. What surfing in Hawaii? Or? Yes. Yeah. He has been. Yeah. He's got a surfing yeah. scholarship. Yeah, yeah, that's what he got for. Oh, good. I see him. Like I got him on Instagram. Can't There's always surf. him taking pictures on the top of like mountains in oh, Hawaii. Good. In Oahu. Oh, good. You know that? Is? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. good. Yeah. Um, Quite a 25 points, 11 boards, 5 assists in his return game. He was uh, more than comfortable. Den is he a longboard uh, surfer? Or yeah, short? he loves longboard. Longboard, that's it. Old school. Oh, yeah. Good. Den Quiney, 21 points, 7 boards, 5 assists. Matt McCarthy, 18, 7. Yeah. Declan Harrick, also back for. <laughs> Did you just hear something? Nope. Uh, for Who? the Falcons. Declan Harrick, he came back from college as well. DH. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Declan 15 Harrick. points and 13 boards. And you might see someone else come back soon. Watch this space. I oh, don't tell me. And no, 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 don't. Just don't rule it out. Honey. No, it's not oh, the. Gosh, is it? Gosh. Don't. Let's just let's keep a lid on it, shall we? Daniel Morales for Sherbrooke at 23 and 10. He was very good. Yeah. Um, was Kirk good. Smith 22 and 9 he assists. Started. Waverly Kirk did Smith a was awesome. really good. Josh Dower 22 points yeah. and 4. Waverly points. did a really good job when um, Truman for Sherbrooke got in foul trouble and had to sit for a yeah. bit. They kept going inside and scoring yeah. fairly comfortably. Yeah. He's getting excited. He is. Are you, are you talking about yes. DKD? No. Oh, oh honestly, 2005 called. 10. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about, oh, DKD is one of his favourites of all time. I thought that's where he was going with it. was the ultimate man. No, he's got one more season, he's got one more season, senior oh, at Washington okay. State. To so come. you talking about? 
Just wait. Okay. Anyway, Diamond Valley 89. Short of the Yeah, yeah. Hawthorne easily 57. Surprised me this margin. DV have now created a bit of a gap oh. on the ladder. They look safe in the top three. Magic have now dropped their last three and a bit of a rut. Yeah. Leo Vitalis 17 points and three trays. Dylan Dunstan 16 points. Daniel Monda Houston 13 and 13. The only Magic yeah. play in double figures. Yeah. Yeah, Magic Diamond, Diamond, margin, yeah, Diamond, Diamond Valley are up, star, right they are up and about. Yep. If he comes back for Waverley, I'm telling you now, look out. Touching, touching. Oh, look out, Waverley's on the move. Yep. Uh, yeah. Diamond Valley, very, very good. Hawthorne struggling at the moment. Knox 65 defeated Eltham 61. Wildcats pushed the Raiders all the way. Knox needed a 21 to 12 yep. last quarter to get the win. Jeffers boys were very good in this game. game. Fair crack. Big chance. A fair crack. You told me last week. No, that was only last week. We oh, mentioned Jeffers all the No, no, Jeffers. Yeah, no, uh, uh, Jeffers is feeling pretty good about himself this week. Oh, he did. Well, he's got another win. Big yeah. Melbourne man. Yeah, I know that. No. But w which week does Jeffers not feel good about himself? When Melbourne don't. No. But you so should. had a few. But when he walks past the mirror, this is what he does. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he does. Um, Aaron Mundy Rashid had 21 points and 7 boards for the Rays. Ben Waterhouse, 16 points. Julian Lipinski, standard night for him, 19 and 10. Julian Critzy had 11 and 8. In, in all seriousness, Knox we, just could, could, yeah, didn't Yeah, not. but in all seriousness, because we do muck around a bit, uh, Jeffers has done a wonderful job with yeah. Eltham. Yeah. A really, really good job. 6 and 7. They've lost 4 in a row, but they've had some very yeah. stiff calls. Yeah. And, and they're only going to get better. I think we can compare him to Ruzi. Look at the oh, job Ruzi's shush. done with the D's, and look at the job Jeffers has done with the Wildcats. Ringwood 67 uh, went down. That's why we went to VCAT. That's why we went to VCAT. Stuff like that. Well, you How just is that wrong? No, you Ruzi just... comes in, you know, I hate it when builds the culture, week and he you know, does stupid. a really good job. Jeffers comes in, he's getting Oakley. the boys to feel good about themselves, they're hey, improving. I reckon we go back to VCAT this we week. We have to. That's <laughs> not I'll book it in. It's just not I'll give him a call. I'm yeah. not going to be welcome back. Okay. Okay. Not Ringwood 67 lost to Danny Nong 76. Really important win for Danny. They were slipping up a bit. They really needed this one. They got to stick around with the top four where they should be. Yep. Um, yeah, is this for a long? Jack Saunders absolutely dominated this one. 31 points at 73%. He hit five points. triples. Here's lights out. John Creighton had 13 and 14. Mark Bear is dead. He absolutely carried the horse this one. 29 and 9. Now, over the last five games, to this. he's averaged 23 points and 14 he's boards. MVP almost 15 team. boards. Grass player. What? Yeah, he, he's my MVP. He did. He tipped in for MVP. Yep, yeah, he did. What? what but, 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 no, by the way, why is that unfair? No, he did tip him. I know. For MVP. I know. If you mention yes. Melbourne one more time on this <laughs> show Graham for the rest of the flag, oh, I'm telling you now. I'll push this through now. There's going to be shit. There's going to be shit. Right, move on. Kills off. Well, we said Frankston might feel the wrath of a very annoyed Cobras outfit after their first loss last just week. Just And uh, just they, they might have just done that. Kills off the 100, defeated Frankston 50. Frankston. I actually could do I actually Frankston feel so good. I actually feel sorry for the Blues. They, they got that beat down. Game. Yeah, massive bounce back oh, game. Uh, 49 to 26 first up, 51 to 24 second up. It was, it was just relentless. The Watson uh, and relentless. Frankston, don't hate us. Who, did, who, went, who beat Kills off the week before? Um, uh, Don it? Valley. Uh, Frankston, just hate Don <laughs> Valley. Yeah. Get up. The one boards, 57 to 31, uh, suggested that they were. That's, yeah. that's an angry stat. Yeah, that's it is. yeah, Cobras had six plays in double figures, Blues had one. Um, Adrian Tomata led a very balanced attack, 19 points, eight boards. Jordan Adam, 16. Kieran Murphy, 15. I think about, yeah, six plays in double figures. Yep. Um, Tit Gith, Kwaja Kwan had 10 points for Frankston. Yep. Jack Gaze held to just one of 10 for six points. <clears throat> well. We're finished. Terrell Ladder knocks 10 and 2, Nutter Wadding 10 and 3. They've won their last six. Melbourne 8 and 4. Ringwood round out the top four at 6 and 6. Eltham just behind 6 and 7. They've lost their last four. They'll be, they'll be okay. They'll be okay. Danny Nong 5 and 6. Sherbrook 4 and 9. Ballarat zip and 3. Get them. up for Rat Week, boys. What's I reckon Eltham or Danny Nong will take Ringwood's top four spot. Uh, sorry, who? Eltham or Danny Nong will take Ringwood's top four That's spot. That's going to be a tight battle, oh, isn't it? How good would it be? Eltham, Eltham, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Go for uh, so Watson Conference, Kilsyth 11 and 1, Frankston 7 and 4, Diamond Valley 6 and 4 on the move, move. Hawthorne 7 yeah. and 6, lost their last three, that's the top four. Boleyn not too far away, 6 and 6. Oh, but they won on the weekend, so it'll be lost this lost week. Lost this week. Waverley oh. 6 and 7, look out with um, yeah. Kwani Kwani back, Sandra. 
Pam 3, 9, Geelong 2 and 10, they've lost the last Ooh. eight. In that case, round 10, Saturday, ah. Bull in Geelong. I'm They're snapping Bull it. In. They're yeah. snapping it. I'm going to go Bull That's in good. to win. Cheers a lot of games. Kilsyth, Hawthorne, surely Kilsyth. Hawthorne. Kilsyth. Yeah. They're just falling, yeah. falling apart a little yeah. bit. Sandringham, Diamond Valley. Diamond, Diamond Valley. Valley. Got to be DB. Yeah. Eltham take on Waverley. Well, I'll tell you what, Waverley. Jeff has just picked the wrong time to come up against Waverley because they've yeah. got everyone coming back at the yeah. moment. I, I don't think you picked it. No, I think Ringwood, Ballarat. Ringwood. No, Ballarat aren't winning the game this year. Yeah, it's, it's rat week next week, so I wish them all the best. I, I might go out and see them play. Yeah, when do they? Oh, no, Saturday night. You're at the community game stadium. I'm, I'm busy the, Saturday night. Diamond Valley, Melbourne. Uh, I think Ringwood will win. Sherbrooke, Ringwood on Sunday. I'm going to go Sherbrooke. I'm going Sherbrooke. Sherry. That'll look really good. Yeah, and at home. I, think home. I, home. I, I think so. Home. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Ringwood for me. They didn't show you enough on Sunday you don't against Waverley. No, I think Sherbrooke are good. Oh. They didn't show you enough. You don't think they're better than Ringwood? Ringwood. No, no. Just went down there. Oh, right. No, he's allowed to tip. No, he's quite no, no, he's, he's allowed to yeah, tip. Yeah, can't do anything. Maybe we go to VK. <laughs> yeah, that one if you're going to keep doing tips like that. Melbourne Diamond Valley. I'm going to go Melbourne this to is win. A, this is a no love loss game. No, it is. Oh, they've played some the old great state five champs over well, I'm going to go Melbourne today. to win at home. I don't Diamond know why. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go. I'm going Melbourne. Yep. I'm so like Melbourne. an eagle. And they're fresh. <laughs> no VK. <laughs> Just That's our new call goodness. card if he ever does anything That's stupid. We're going, to, we're going to VCAT. Oh my god. It's been a long Monday. Can we on the show? Because there's a lot of people a out long there. Monday. There's a lot of people out there that probably put up with clowns like this. Right? It's a circus. It is a circus. Uh, and there's probably yeah. a lot of people that put up with that kind of crap. Can we just flash the VCAT <laughs> number and website up on the show this week? So if you've got issues, if you've got you problems, mark down the time point. If you've got problems, mark down the time point. If you officially have a clown in your life that you want to complain about, ring this number or go to this website right now and complain, just like we've done in the last few <laughs> All right, quick, Hawthorne, Sandy. Sandy for me, upset. No, Hawthorne. No, sorry, they'll steady. Hawthorne. Um, Danny Nong, Ballarat. Oh, Danny Nong. Rangers. Danny Nong, sorry. None of what Knox. Cracker. Knox. Nah, Knox to win. That's not Frank's game. Frank's, Frank's to win that. No, 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 no but some of us are. See you later. You'll be swatting around Goodbye. your bloody lolly shop. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See you next week.